baby Here we go, Monday morning grappling with uh, Coach Jackson. that moment in practice where the uh, heavyweights are finishing up and the lightweights are getting ready to come in. Yeah. Oh, camera's on! <laughs> Checking gas. So Tom, how long have you been doing MMA? Oh, I start at 12 uh, by Sambo Combat. At the age of 12, I was uh, I was watching Fedor Emelianenko, who, who was uh, the champion at Pride, the the bigger uh, organization at that time. So I wanted to I want to do like him, you know, fighting in the cage, fighting in the ring. So I just started uh, MMA at the age of 12. And we can tell that you have an accent. Where are you from? I'm from Paris. And what brought you out here to Jackson Wink? Uh, actually, that's the best uh, team in the world, I think, on, on my on my on my side. Um, I was planning. Uh, I planned a two months uh, trip over the over the US to to look the team who is the best for me. Uh, and I went to LA. I went to Las Vegas, and I went to Albuquerque. And for me, Albuquerque was the best camp I ever I, I ever had. So I decided to put my luggage over there, and now uh, I'm a part of this big family. And what makes Jackson Wing different than any other gym you are looking at? Oh, a lot of gyms are good, in the, especially on the West Coast. But Albuquerque was uh, was very good to me because of the um, the, tra the, the training partners. Everybody wants to evolve, no injuries. They have a good mindset. Uh, the coach are awesome in every field, in the striking game, on the ground game, in the wrestling, and everybody is there to evolve together. And all the coach like me, and I like them. And there is a cool exchange between us. So we, I feel like it's, I feel it's the area that I that I improve my style the most. And do you have any confirmed fights coming up? Yes, uh, I will fight December 16th, uh, Dublin Island again, again, uh, in Bama. It will be my last fight in Bama, so we will see if, we, if I renegotiate with them. So from there we will know if I have signed with UFC, Bellator, or Bama. I will see. Speaking of UFC, they're kind of polishing you to be the next upcomer. Do you see that as a possibility? Yeah, I'm in contact with Sean Shelby, the matchmaker of the lightweight divisions and below. And um, we have a good relationship. We, we talk by, by mail and um, it's been a while that he wants to bring me on a UFC card. For me right now, the goal is to capitalize some experience. So I say, okay, just wait a little bit. I want to I wanna fight a little bit more. Then I will go to UFC guy. I want, I want you guys 
to bring you the best uh, entertainment, so I need to be at my best level. So, uh, so I'm just waiting, and maybe it will be in December or after. Who knows? And who would be your dream matchup with? Oh, for for the title. So uh, if I don't, I don't, I don't really care. You know, I just want the title. So I pre I'm, uh, I'm preparing for it. And since you've been in Albuquerque for a little bit here and there, what's your favorite part about it? Uh, in Albuquerque himself, the town, um, I like the natural spots, so uh, actually I love to, to go to White Sands, you know, New Mexico, and I have to be at, at that place. The restaurants are good in Albuquerque, you can find some good uh, French restaurants as well, and um, life is just cool, you know, not, not too much people, people are cool, and uh, it's the American way of life, and for a French guy like me, it's always been like kind of, kind of my dream, so I'm happy to be there. And for fans? What's your favorite French restaurant here and what would you recommend them getting? I would recommend you Artichoke, in down, not, not far from downtown, it's on Central Ave. This is one of the best areas. This is French restaurant with an with international taste, so it's one of the, of the greatest in Albuquerque. And finally, what's one thing that most people don't know about you? Uh, I don't know. Maybe I have a French accent. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Thank you, Tom. Thank you. Have a nice day. Yeah, baby.